Welcome to the three and welcome this week's co-host, Rondo Watson. Woo -woo. I'm Rondo the co-host, y'all. We are excited very excited to have excited. you. Me too. Good, perfect, because we've been waiting for this, so you yeah. already know how. Okay. <laughs> and just so you know, every day on the show, we do trending topics that starts off the show. Okay. You ready to do this? I'm ready to get on trend. All right. All right. Let's get it. All right, let's get it. All right, don't chase those holiday blues away with bourbon this year, because Jim Beam has a temporary solution. It's a Kentucky hug in the form of pajamas. <laughs> Bourbon lovers may know that a Kentucky hug is a warm feeling after taking your first sip of bourbon. And these special <laughs> PJs are meant to mimic just that. They have a removable panel around the neck and shoulders that when activated simulates a real life hug. The limited edition PJs are just $25, but they're already sold out on the Jim Beam website. That's interesting, <laughs> actually. <laughs> I've, I've never seen any PGs like, real PGs like that. Real interesting. Oh, this yeah. is kind of cute would you guys, around the holidays. Would you buy? Oh. Does it pour you a drink? <laughs> Ooh. We like you, Miss Ronda. You can stay. <laughs> she read off the bat. She's clever. That is a, a hug oh, no. pour. I, I love that. Pour. That would oh. be good. Ooh, use it like a neck pillow. Oh, yeah, because it, it, the collar was a little puffy. But like I still her. want a drink. Miss Ronda has it a is, point. Flannel, my only option. I don't really wear flannel. Yeah, uh, that's a, yeah, yeah. You're right. Mm. I don't know. I feel like that's like a holiday look. Whatever. Okay, next. <laughs> Let's move on. Okay, so we've got a list of America's favorite Christmas treats. A majority of the U.S., including Texas, favors cheesecake as their top Christmas treat, followed by sugar cookies. Montana and North Dakota enjoy cinnamon rolls, while Alaska, North Carolina, and Oregon went with the sweet drink of eggnog instead. And hot chocolate also appears to be a top favorite across the country as well. I'm down with the cheesecake, really? okay? I'm yes. kind of surprised that that's like a top contender. What I'm with you. I'm with you. How oh. many Texans were in that survey? Buttermilk pie, pecan pie, no. peach cobbler. Cheesecake no. just doesn't seem super popular here. I don't know. I don't know either. I, I don't know, guys, because like the, the pecan pie, I was about to say pecan, because you know I say pecan from, from Boston, pecan. but I'll, I'll switch it up. Pecan, <laughs> so the pecan yes. pie is too sweet. I just can't get into it. You I think don't know. pecan pie is sweeter than cheesecake? There is yes. a cheesecake pecan pie. I had it at Cheesecake Factory. Really? So is the thumbs it's up? It's pretty good. Okay, well, maybe I can mix the two and try it out. We'll okay, so later anything. in the week, we have to have a taste test. <laughs> <laughs> we have to do the cheesecake okay, and pecan down. pie, and then the cheesecake pecan Let's pie. Let's do it. All right. All right. right. <laughs> <laughs> Taylor right, Swift, so, let's talk oh, yeah, about Taylor her. Taylor Swift <laughs> is releasing additional tickets to her Eras Tour after last month's ticketing debacle. Some of her fans who had signed up for the Ticketmaster Verified Fan pre-sale were locked out when sales started. Although Ticketmaster apologized, fans still have decided to follow suit against the company. But with Swift's new lottery, some of the fans who got locked out have now received a notification that they will be oh they'll be getting a second chance to buy tickets according to the notification the purchasing window for the tickets will begin before December 23rd that's a good okay. Christmas present no that is Imagine. a good one present. Like, that is a good one and because I know like we, we, we talked about this actually yeah, there, a bunch of fans were suing Ticketmaster yeah. because they got they were waiting in line on like virtual line and it's they got locked deal. out right Taylor Swift I mean I guess Taylor Swift's like I was gonna say, all right, let me not. Cause I was like, she's like Beyonce, so it's a big thing, you know. I guess well, she she's up there. Yeah, she is up there. Yeah. She is. Oh, let me not do that to Tay. Global celebrity. Yeah. yeah. And you know, she gave the NYU commencement for this year. Oh. Yeah. You know, I'm still bitter about that. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> <laughs> we were both in New York at the same time. Yeah. Because yeah. her son also went to NYU. Okay. okay. Well, yeah. shout out to my son. Woo woo. All right. <laughs>